About one in every 10 Americans is colorblind, and most don't even know it. Are you? This is the colorblind test. What does it mean to be colorblind? Is the world in black and white? Are colors switched like on a broken TV? Complete colorblindness is actually very rare, and color itself, as far as science can tell, is already different for every person. So no and no. Here's the first Ishihara colorblind test checking for red-green colorblindness. Sit two feet away from your screen and look at the wheel in the middle. Do you see the number 8? If you have red-green colorblindness, you see the number 3 instead, because your eyes have trouble distinguishing certain colors. Don't worry if you didn't catch that. Most people with red-green already know they have it and have seen that way since birth. For this test, the colors become closer together. Let's try a few. If you've passed them all so far, you likely don't have red-green colorblindness. But there are other kinds, so let's check. Look for the numbers in these shapes. The colors were probably harder to see that time, but if you could see them all, you most likely aren't colorblind. Just one final test. Again, do you see it? Well, if you do, that's very strange because this is just a bunch of red dots. Sorry to trick you there. But then again, the goal of this test is really to explain how colorblindness works and to spread awareness. Many people are affected by it. So if you know somebody who is colorblind, just be aware of how it works and how you might be able to help. And test your friends with this video. After all, we all see the world a little bit differently. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe for new videos every week.